Hello everyone, welcome to the first part in a how-to series on how to weather HO scale freight cars. Uh, for this series we'll be using a Tangent X58 box car, the Penn Central scheme. Uh, the plan for the series is to basically do a video a week doing the steps I do each weekend on the box car. It's pretty much how I weather all my cars. I do them in steps and in layers to get the result I want. Uh, this first step will be the, all the airbrush process which will involve a fade coat as well as a bit of a dirt and grime coat on the truck area with a bit of rail brown. Um, first part of any weathering project and probably one of the more important steps is to find a prototype photo of a car similar to what you're going for for weathering and for this car in particular I couldn't locate uh, this exact Penn Central scheme in a late 90s kind of weather job that I wanted so I found something kind of close here hopefully that'll show up kind of decent there but uh, this is a little different paint job but roughly the fade coat I'm wanting etc and all the dirt and grime around the door so that's what I'll kind of be using to go off to, to base my weathering paint job so go ahead and uh, join along and watch at home All right, now we have our fade coat on. I neglected to mention before I actually sprayed it, but I'm sure as you saw during the video, it's very simple to do. You just kind of spray back and forth. You want to start your spray out around and then you go across and then you stop off it. That way, should you have any anything stuck in your airbrush, it'll kind of get it out before it goes over and spritzes the whole thing up. Uh, for the next coat, we'll be doing a rail brown down pretty much along the lower side of the car here pretty much getting a base coat on the trucks and along under the door etc just to get a, a basic grime coat on there <laughs>
All right, now we have our fade coat on. We're gonna wanna go ahead and let that dry for a day or two. Uh, that's why this is gonna be a bit of a step-by-step -step process. I like to put a good coat of clear also in between each step. That way it'll kind of help from rub wiping off one step when you go to do another. Uh, for the clear coat, I use this uh, Krylon Color Max Clear Flat Crystal Clear. You can get this at Lowe's, Home Depot, any of your Harbor Supply stores. It's a little bit cheaper, but uh, seems to work really well. All right, next week we'll start doing some washes with um, enamel paints that are thinned out, as well as we'll do some acrylic hand painting to kind of give us some of the little rust spots and everything, and little detail stuff. Also very important as well, once you have a coat of clear on this or once you're starting to do your clear coat, make sure you wear some sort of gloves when you're working on your freight car. Uh, what'll happen is you'll get all the oils and stuff on your fingers will get in there and it'll really, uh, really make fingerprints apparent on a car when you're starting to do all this weathering stuff, especially when you get to doing all your chalks and powders, etc. So, uh, all right, everybody, thank you for watching. Please uh, make sure you click that old subscribe button. I think I'm going to try and put it over here if I can get it. And tune in next week for the next phase. Hopefully that will be out on either Friday or Saturday. And uh, follow along with me. Thanks for watching.